Oh, here we go. Quiet, if you. All right, you. Tell me. Diamond City Radio? It's terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. I don't think I noticed. You listen to it. It grates on ears like sandpaper. This DJ Travis, he is disaster. Something must be done, and soon. We will have customers suiciding before long. But Tim... It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. I guess that'll be one way to handle it. It would be quick and probably mostly painless. You just first leave him out of town. Oh, that you're even considering that's enough. It is bad enough. But him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. I'm not stupid. I wasn't falling for it. We weren't trying to trick you or anything. But him just likes to joke. <laughs> It's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, that can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling Yefim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Did you see the explosion? That blimp the Brotherhood had. The whole sky was on fire. Come, come. Have a drink. I didn't buy bar to sell water. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> I'll take a look, sure. Not to bias you, but everything's delicious. Don't know you, Scaver. I'm glad you found Earl's killer, but now my brother won't shut up about you. Look, look, look I don't want to be in trouble. Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. Have a nice day. <laughs> yeah! Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. I'm here to give you a hand. I, I, I mean, I'm not really looking to cause, you know, trouble. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Let's do something about this, then. No, no, I... I that might end badly. With these men, it could... Well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work, you got spunk, kid. That's all that matters. Okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. 
Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I... I mean it. Leave me alone! It sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Get this lost. This is such a bad idea. Oh, God, my jaw. Bullshit, man. Just bullshit. This is bullshit, man. This is not what I signed up for. This ain't over. You hear me? I, I don't, I don't, uh, okay, I usually don't, this is why, this is why. Travis. Whoa, I, I can't believe it, we did it! I knew you had it in you. I can't, I can't believe it, you were right, oh, I've, I've got things to do now, listen. Really? I, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for next part of foolproof plan? Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice and easy. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I... Never talked about this, all right? Just buy or sell whatever you need and get lost. Whatever you're gonna ask, I don't know anything about it. Stands. Let's just say they can do a lot of things. Wanna do something fun? Miss? I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... well, he was brave. Yeah? Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that can happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty horrible things. Look, I'm just not ready for that. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. I ain't your friend, Scala. Used to Diamond City security hey, being unhealthy. Hey, 
Just this ignore him terrible. like I do. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They took him. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and that they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. I'll bring him back, Yefim. Count on it. Please just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'll go with you, but someone has to stay here. I'll talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Don't beat yourself up, kid. You saw how things turned out last time someone tried to. Look, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. All right, I'd welcome the help. Good, I didn't, I didn't wanna have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll I'll get a gun and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. You're here. So this is it. Odds are if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Just keep a cool head, okay? Don't think about it too much. Okay, right. Sure. Yeah. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. I go in first, and you stay behind me. Watch my back. Okay. Whatever you say.
I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't gonna leave you to these guys. You are a good man. <laughs> these idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and brothers, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Man. Hey. What a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. You've come real far, pal. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like... Was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you.